camps of people. One camp is, uh, listen, I've been in this position in Bitcoin for quite some time. Is this the time to sell? And the second camp is, I have missed the whole move. Is this the time to buy? And what an amazing behavior by, by those two groups. And I think that both express the emotional worry, anxiety about this move, which is to be expected because when something as popular as Bitcoin moves so much, the, de deviation, the standard deviation increases dramatically, you are going to have the sentiment shift, which is going to be pronounced. And my answer to both of the groups is no, you do not sell because this type of strength actually suggests further continuation, maybe even after the reaction, but still it's not going to just stop after the initial move because institutions are still buying. And uh, no, you don't want to stay on the sidelines as well for the second group. You have to find some kind of point of entry opportunistically, obviously. And that's going to be really challenging after this move. As we look back into the history of how Bitcoin moved before. So I think that, Bruce, we are probably somewhere here after this and after this coming like after the new high. This is just down sloping. So just the new highs, the consolidation is here. This is more horizontal. So this consolidation is here. So look at what's ahead of us analog wise. Obviously here, the move was so aggressive right here. Same calls are coming in. Should I hold? Should I sell? Uh, and I say like find the place in this uptrend where you could potentially come in into the position. Something like this, something that reacts and still shows the strength of buying and still shows the strength of the momentum and continuation. And you're going to have a lot of movement in front of you until you see something more meaningful.